There are three main types of RNA, so we're going to talk about those now. The first one, and the one that's most important for our class, is messenger RNA, and we usually abbreviate it mRNA. This is the one that copies DNA's code and carries the genetic information out of the nucleus to the ribosomes. So here's the mRNA. It's single-stranded. Um, it has uracil instead of thymine. So the ribos and then the next one is ribosomal RNA, and we shorten it to rRNA. And this is a structural thing. So along with protein, it makes up the ribosomes. So this mass of stuff that makes up the ribosomes, the actual physical place where proteins are made, um, that's made out of ribosomal RNA. And so the strand of RNA here that codes for a protein, here's the protein that's being made, the strand of RNA that's doing the coding is called messenger RNA, whoops, messenger RNA, and the physical structure of the ribosome is made out of ribosomal RNA plus some proteins. So proteins are made in the cytoplasm um, in ribosomes, and the ribosomes are made out of ribosomal RNA plus some proteins. <coughs> And the last type that we're going to talk about is transfer RNA, shortened as tRNA. This transfers amino acids to the ribosomes where proteins are made. So this thing is your messenger RNA that carries the code from DNA on how to make your proteins. This ribosome is made out of ribosomal RNA plus proteins, so that's two of the types of RNA. This molecule right here is called transfer RNA. And what that does, if you look at the mRNA code, this is complementary. G goes with C, G goes with C, C goes with G. And so this particular um, code, GGC, is always attached to proline. So that's one particular amino acid. This one, AUG, the complementary one for that, the one that just left, would have been, let's see, opposite of, excuse the birds, opposite of A would, any time now, opposite of A would be U, opposite of U would be A, and opposite of G would be C. This must have coded for a transfer RNA that brought that one over. The next one, UAU, the match for that is AUA. And that's always carrying this amino acid, tyrosine. So it has a cloverleaf shape. On one side, it has an attachment site for an amino acid. And this part's single-stranded, but it doubles up here and here and here. And this part... The opposite end has a three nucleotide bases called the anticodon. So that's important that you memorize this word. <laughs> so the codon would be what it matches to, but the anticodon is the part of the tRNA. More incredibly cool stuff about messenger RNA. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to miss the Spencer part. Messenger RNA carries information for a specific protein, whether it's hemoglobin or insulin or whatever. mRNA is usually about 500 to 1,000 nucleotides long. Um, you don't have to memorize that. The letters or bases of mRNA make words called codons. So I introduced anticodon a little bit too early, I think. The messenger RNA, I'm hoping that shows up again. Okay, good. It has three letters, maybe A, U, C, or whatever, and that's a codon. The thing that matches it would be the tRNA. So A would go with U, U with A, C with G. This would be on the tRNA, and that would be the anticodon because it would be complementary. A codon is always only three bases long, so it's like saying all of the words in the English language are only three letters long. Um, but it's not the English language, it's the DNA language. So each codon codes for one amino acid. This is really important, too. So the three mRNA bases code for one amino acid. So I'll show you how that works. AUG codes for the amino acid methionine, or for punctuation, it can code for start. And these three, don't memorize this. I'm going to give you a chart for it. UAA, UAG, and UGA all code for more punctuation for stop. And so here's the code of life. This is kind of exciting. So if you have U, 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 it's phenylalanine. And some of it's repetitive. U, U, C is phenylalanine. U, U, A is leucine. U, U, G is um, leucine also. And so you can look at this and see that there are, I think it's um, 60 different possible codes, but you only have 20 amino acids. And so here's where 
the duplications are. So usually the first two letters are the same. The last letter sometimes can be different and still code for the same amino acid. So GAU and GAC both code for this particular amino acid. Um, you'll always have this on my test or on an MCAS, so you certainly don't need to memorize any of this. But what you should know is that you can have more than one codon coding for one particular amino acid. So whether it's GCU, GCC, GCA or GCG, those all code for this particular amino acid, um, alanine. So an amino acid may have more than one codon. There are 20 amino acids, but 64 possible codons. I think I said 60. 64 of them. So the three bases of a codon of mRNA are complementary to the three bases of an anticodon for tRNA. So the codon, let's say it's ACU, the anticodon would be UGA. So these things are complementary. So here's an example of that. Here's tRNA, and here's the messenger RNA. And so if these things match, then this part of mRNA will always code for that particular amino acid. Maybe it's um, isoleucine. So ACU always goes with UGA. So quiz time. DNA codes for should be RNA, which codes for proteins. And the RNA would be messenger RNA. DNA, let me go backwards. DNA will code for these also, but they don't code for this stuff. And that it's the messenger RNA that codes for a protein. A codon is three bases of messenger RNA. An anticodon is three bases of tRNA. So these are the vocab words that you need to get down. One end of tRNA has a blank, and the other end binds to blank. So one end has an anticodon, and the other end binds to um, an amino acid. The genetic code is redundant because more than one codon can code for an amino acid. The, t the RNA that codes for a protein is called messenger RNA. The RNA that physically makes up the ribosome is ribosomal RNA. Hopefully you're pausing this before I give you the answers. The RNA that brings amino acids to the ribosome is called transfer RNA, like a truck. The RNA that looks like a clover leaf is called, again, the transfer RNA. And that's it.